Calling all students! Summer Internship 2022 has finally arrived! PS Media Enterprise is now open for application! We are looking for Media Acquisition Interns Content Distribution Interns Digital Marketing Interns Localization Marketing Interns And Broadcasting Interns Send your CVs at careers at esmedia.io That is careers at esmedia.io Be part of our growing team! Annyeong haseyo! Curious about the Philippines and Korea? Our podcast is for you! Annyeong kwento mo! It's a podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Hosted by Lloyd and Jazz, be amazed and inspired with different stories yet to unfold. Listen to our podcast only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Do you have a story to share? Well then, here's Anyong Kwento Mo, Jenny Lee. Anyong, I'm Lloyd. Anyong, I'm Jess. <laughs> and we are back with another episode this week along with a very special guest. Uh, we always say that it is a special guest every week for the past uh, how many episodes? But for today, this is the season finale for our podcast but of course uh, like every week there's a question that will that will be asked so the question is Lloyd how are you feeling right now knowing this is the uh, season finale for our podcast oh my gosh you know to be honest just I'm really you know excited to to finally have the finale of the episode but at the same time it's a bit sad we've been doing this podcast for like two months and you know uh, with that span of time or month it's really an amazing journey and also yeah a, a bit sad because uh we will be ending our podcast today but yeah. you know uh, ho- hopefully with uh, the next batch of interns they will continue this amazing like opportunity to uh, to meet different peoples around the world and just to get to know their story so uh yeah how about you just uh same with you i'm also sad but at the same time happy sad because it's already ending and then yeah. we've met like what nine people with like different stories i mean yeah. we met for like the first episode is the philippine ambassador to south korea so that's something as you say bragging right <laughs> yeah. really we're, like, when we're done with everything and then there's these youtubers TikTok creators and then I'm also happy that the idea was pitched to us you know so like we're on the same page yeah but with that being said uh, what was the most memorable experience you have because of this podcast Uh, I guess it's the first recording we did but it was for the second episode it was yeah, the, because he was the first person we ever met for like an actual recording. And then it didn't feel like any, it, it wasn't really hard. It felt like he was our, he was a friend, a classmate. And then he like, re, he assured that everything's fine. You guys are doing great. So that's something I will really remember. So how about you? Well, actually, uh, with my most favorite, like, um, or memorable guest in the podcast is uh, the Philippine ambassador to South Korea. Because to be honest, with with that interview, it felt like you know surreal, and you know, to someone like us to to interview like a huge uh, or top high profile personality yeah. or like person in in South Korea, it's really an honor and a privilege to just to get to know her her like her sto- story and journey in becoming uh, the Philippine ambassador to South Korea. 
<clears throat> yeah, and for now, let's figure out who is this season's finale guest. Yeah. She's in the call right now. So, Lloyd, why don't you introduce her? Yes. Uh, so, uh, for the listeners of, of Anyong Kwento Mo Podcast, uh, our guest for the finale of this uh, uh, podcast is a Korean vlogger who does content about teaching Korean class uh, vlogs, K-drama, K-pop, and Korean culture. Currently, she has a total of 15,000 followers on YouTube and has almost 200,000 total views accumulated across all of the videos she uploaded in the said platform. Known as Jenny the Live on YouTube, please welcome on the show, Miss Jenny Lee. Annyeong! Annyeong! Hi! Annyeong! Annyeong! Ah, Maganda Umaga! Yay! Oh, Deva! Yay! Yes. Let's try it, let's try it. Uh, masaya ako makita ka. Oh, <laughs> uh, ako po si Jenny. And maraming salamat po. Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, you did great. That was thank good. You. Uh, th- th- thank you. So, uh, thank you for the introduction. I mm-hmm. My name is Jenny. I live in Seoul and I started on Facebook and I teach uh, Korean to foreigners and I try to share about Korean culture and everything to the world. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation, Miss Jenny. Yeah, and actually, uh, we can... Uh, way to get to know you better in this podcast and you know despite the different time zones that we have although it's like one hour ahead in in south korea you know uh, uh we thank you for accepting the invitation and for giving us time uh, in guesting in our podcast so we we really appreciate it so uh i guess we can formally start the podcast jazz please uh, go ahead <laughs> uh yeah, before uh, anything else, uh, Miss Jenny, we just want to know, how are you today? Ah, so it's in the morning, so I have my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> we love coffee. <laughs> we love coffee too. I love, I love coffee and it's in the morning and I was really excited to wake up and really meet you guys. And oh. I'm ready for the podcast and I'm ready. Yes, so are we. <laughs> we yeah, are so ready. And I guess... For the first question, Miss Jenny, uh, could you please share a little more about yourself? Okay, so I live in Seoul and I started uh, going on the internet as totally like volunteer volunteer live videos and then some of my videos went viral on Facebook so I gained a big audience on Facebook and then from that on I just really loved sharing what I know and and in that case it was Korean I guess <laughs> and I really loved it and it has been a wonderful journey uh, in the way I've met so many people and throughout that journey today I'm able to meet you guys so it's, it's a, <laughs> a great journey <laughs> but yeah knowing that uh what were your hobbies prior to like teaching hangul in youtube uh, on facebook before on facebook. I well i guess i was just like a really ordinary person i still am a very ordinary person and i was a university student so my i guess my hobby at that time was about like drinking but <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, I was an ordinary girl. I never thought I would do anything so crazy like this. So I was just just same old going to cafes. Like I didn't really have like a hobby hobby, but I like to cook. I like to meet friends. I love meeting new people. I love talking. So I guess that's what I did. And then suddenly I did live things on the internet, and that's how it became. <laughs> amazing yeah well now that we already uh, know you better we will now be talking about how you discovered your passion in teaching so uh the question is when was that moment when you finally decided you wanted to be a korean actor so okay so this is a very interesting story because uh as a university student i love making and i love organizing events oh I love organizing events and I've been I've done small and big events and actually one of the biggest events that I've organized is in the Philippines in Manila oh wow 
2016, and I'll share a video uh, after the podcast. But uh, in 2016, I did. I organized. I helped organize a K-pop cover event. Oh, in, yes. in in Manila and like it was in the SM mall one of the SM malls there's so many SM malls so. yeah, <laughs> yeah. We know, we know. <laughs> uh, in, in Mandaluyong district yeah Mandaluyong 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 yeah, yeah. district <clears throat> and uh, like I was a student but I was luckily enough to have an opportunity to help out uh, organize the K-pop event and at that time so many people came to the event and there were like cover groups they were like they were amazing and they showed so much passion in K-pop dance and K-pop singing so at that time looking at that crowd it was just like a different feeling for me it was like wow these people might even love Korea more than I do just like, <laughs> just like yeah. that sense. so so I did the event, it was a huge success and everybody was so happy and on my way back to Seoul, uh, it was my exam period in, in university but I didn't study for my exam. I was like very like, <laughs> I was very like sort of like, that's kind of like a feeling that I don't think I will ever experience again but I was like so grateful for the people who showed up and who are interested in my country and you know it's like Korea like, you, it's, you don't have to be interested, but they showed interest and I was very, very grateful for the whole feeling. And on my way back to Seoul, I was thinking, oh, what can I do back for them? Because like, I felt really grateful, so what can I do? Like, I want to do something, but I didn't know what to do. And at that time, Facebook was going, Facebook had this like thing of, press this button and go live. And they were like advertising that whole live system. It was like back in 2016. So it was like the first time when they did the live broadcasting. So I was like, well, I guess I can speak English and I guess I'm Korean, so I know Korean. So <laughs> <laughs> what about teaching some Korean on the internet? And yeah. it was just like that, like just in my room, just like a piece of paper and I was like, just showing it on the internet, but I don't know, somehow people were watching and then thousand people were watching and then a lot of more people were watching. So that's how I started. Wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's really like an amazing like journey on mm -hmm. how you discovered your passion in teaching. I mean, you just started like uh, volunteering in the, uh, uh, I mean, in a show here in the Philippines and to be honest, like K-pop here is like big. We both love it. We oh, both love it. Even people, the one who's recording this podcast, we all love K-pop and you know the Korean food, the fashion, like everything in Korea is just like admirable. So I guess yeah, I mean it's not like questionable why uh, the fans are like the people who attended the event. Yeah. I mean they all love K-pop, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even until now, uh, Miss Jenny, yeah, <clears throat> K-pop is. Like the thing right here in our country right now, so everybody is everywhere. loves it <laughs> until now. So yeah, yeah. so well, that's how I started and that's how I began and that's here how we are now. <laughs> and here then I became yeah. Teacher Jenny on the internet. And oh, so we <laughs> called you Teacher Jenny. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you the video. It's like Mandaluyong City. Mandaluyong. Oh. Yeah. There's a lot of people. Oh wow. I thought SB19. <laughs> SB19. <laughs> There's so many people. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah Whoa. Was... <laughs> May we lot. know what like group? Was it like, or was it for like one K-pop group or for like... No, no, it was a competition. It was like a, it was like a K, K cover dance competition. So oh, yeah. the, it was like a who would be number one, number two competition. Mm. Oh, there, that's so cool. There's a lot of people. We could see it from our end. Experience. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like, really, like, it's like a sold out concert. Concert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, other than K-pop, Filipinos love like dancing as well. So, uh, 
that video just shows it. Uh, but Miss Jenny, uh, what's the mm-hmm. most fulfilling part of being a Korean teacher to like to your students from your end at the, oh. the internet? Oh, I guess definitely, I think the feeling that I'm able to give back to the people who showed interest in my country and to me and like the support that I get, like, oh, it's just like one of a kind of experience, like, uh, I, these people that I've never met are like so thankful for me for teaching Korean and I'm thankful for them for watching me because like actually learning something isn't the most exciting thing. You could watch mukbang, you could watch some com- <laughs> com- comedian shows, yeah. you could watch some drama, but they picked to watch me and they picked to spend time with me learning, which is the boringest thing that you could ever do. <laughs> and I'm very, very grateful uh, for their support. And I think we have a great um, two-way relationship with my fans and I, because I'm grateful for them and they're grateful for me. So we have this like very lovey, <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. So that's what I have. And so, and sometimes I get some messages saying that like uh, some students their dream were to come to Korea and study in Korea and I would get some messages and they said oh well thanks to my videos they got the motive to come to Korea and like my videos helped them so those are the times that are really fulfilling wow like both of us we want to go to Korea yeah we want so bad (laughs) Yeah, even the like uh, some of the uh, previous guests in her podcast, they uh, one of it is like she speaks uh, Korean very well. Okay. But she's a Filipino. Okay. Yeah, and she just learned uh, Korean through watching uh, videos on the internet and just self-study. So, mm-hmm. like one of her goals is to visit Korea as well. But moving forward, you know, as some of the supporters and listeners of this podcast, uh, they all know that how Jas and I are fascinated with the beauty of South Korea and also how we admire their culture, the K-pop, food, and fashion. Now we will be talking to your um, own country itself, the South Korea. So could you please tell us one main reason why your country is so popular today? I think in one word, I think it has it all. Yeah. In very many ways, because I feel like, and a lot of like my foreign friends when they come to Seoul, especially, is that <clears throat> it's so modern and it is so traditional at the same time. Yeah. There is a high, high buildings that are 130 floors up high, and then <laughs> oh you look gosh. around, and then there is this ancient Joseon Dynasty palaces yeah. in the same city, and you. From one hour to the left, you have the sea, you have the oceans. One hour to the up, you have the mountains, and you have the four seasons, and you have everything inside. So it's like a little small magic world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All. And a lot of uh, people are here, and I think that's one of the most fascinating and unique features about Korea that it has the modern and traditional things at the same time. Yeah, it's like a balance of both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why like people are so invested in your country. But but moving forward, what can you say about non Koreas who have been supporting uh, Korea's own like K dramas, K food, the products, and even your um K pop groups and idols? Like, my gosh, we love them. <laughs> I think I yeah, think the whole whole idea of like us sharing and liking the same things maybe k-pop k-song whatever i think it makes us feel much closer yeah oh like i think like if you were meeting a friend for the same time and you find out that you have the same connection same passion and something you there's an instinct feeling that oh you guys and i can be friends yeah so, <laughs> you, you have the same feeling so I think it's a very like warm-hearted feeling where uh, people show interest in my country and then I just have this feeling that I'm grateful and we can be good friends and (laughs) I'm very (laughs) thankful and it's very interesting to see how many people are very interested in Korea. It's very, it's very surprising. Yeah, I mean even I myself and even just you know we can't deny how much we love Korea. That's why you know we we thought of asking that question to you just like just so we can know that the, the like your answer from a perspective of, of a Korean. 
So yeah, it's good to know. It's it's all 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 I can say is maramin salamat po. <laughs> yeah, thank you as well. You know, <laughs> like for giving us like the K-pop groups, <laughs> amazing food and the fashion. Yeah. Yes, and uh, Miss Jenny, with like uh, Korea now, like I guess English is like really common right now. So we're now gonna talk about. Uh, your journey in learning the English language. Okay. Could you please share with us how you learned English? Okay, so I have a, a, a special, I don't know, unique factor is that my dad is actually an English professor. Oh wow! Oh yeah, so he speaks so much better English than me. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was young, when I was in elementary school, elementary school first year, second year, I studied abroad in Canada. But the surprising mm. thing is that I've never been back since. So it's oh. been twenty years since I've been abroad. Whoa! So for me, actually, it is me speaking English is like a challenge for me because it is not my first language. I Studied and I tried to. I studied so many years ago, so I, it's like a very challenging thing for me to maintain my English skills and you know how how English is so needed in the these days. So yeah, I learned English uh, in Canada and I'm trying to maintain. <laughs> wow, Ethan, that was shocking. We just interviewed somebody from like two weeks ago from Canada, who's also a Korean. Korean, yeah. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, but for you, what's like the hardest? You said your dad's like an English professor, so he had to teach you. What was the hardest part in learning like the entire thing? Um, I think uh, the learning part is like whatever you're learning. Language is a very, very. It's it's not just a language; it's a life. It's the yeah. lifestyle of that country, so it's not just learning about the alphabets or Hangul. I think it has so much deeper meaning to when you're learning a language. So, uh, learning like speaking and talking about that, it's, it doesn't really. It's the same. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's, it's not easy in whatever language you're learning. Yeah. But I think the most difficult part is to maintain and um, and continue. And like not forget whatever language you're learning. And I think one of the questions was like, um, one of the questions was how do you maintain or what's the hardest thing in learning a language? And I think that's a answer for that as well as maintaining your language skills. I guess I can relate. <laughs> We can relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean English is so hard. Like here in the Philippines, not not to generalize, but. Like some of the Filipinos who really speak in English well, you know, they they are sometimes like scared of like having mistakes in terms of like grammar, because like yeah. one grammar can like people will judge you. So it's it's like uh, you you really have to be careful and just you know just practice yourself in learning and like speaking in English. Yeah. So we can really like uh, relate to it. But anyways, as much as we are enjoying getting to know your story, Miss Jenny, we will cut short for uh, first the interview as we will be having like a sur surprise fun game to you. But don't worry, this is just like a uh, short uh, fun game just to lighten up the mood. And so Jess will be explaining the mechanics of the game to you. Uh, okay. Don't worry, uh, Miss Jenny. This is like really fast because it's literally a fast talk game. So yeah. We have like 10 random questions for you and all you have to do is answer these questions as fast as you can. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Miss Jenny, are you up for the game? Are you up for the game? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, she's ready yeah. though. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with the first one. Uh, your favorite part in teaching Hangul? Uh, my fans. <laughs> uh, a place in Korea you would like to recommend to your students? Hapjong <laughs> Bangwon. Oh, uh, favorite Korean word? Kumao. Uh, maybe oh, know what's thank that? You, right? That's what thank you, right? Thank you, Ah, thank you. Uh, next is our uh, favorite K pop group? BTS. Yes, let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh. Next, favorite K pop song? Uh, favorite K pop song? Uh, right now, I can think about Butter, I guess. 
Because I, I, I listened to I listened to while Not I was that, coming. coming. <laughs> Next is uh, if you could teach the Korean language to any celebrity, like foreign celebrity, who would it be and why? Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, <laughs> Blackpink. <laughs> Black oh. Yeah, any any member, I guess Lisa. I would love to teach her. Yeah, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Next is your favorite Korean food. Ah, oh, that's so hard. <laughs> we'll take notes. <laughs> no, you have to have samgyeopsal. It's let's say samgyeopsal, the pork, oh my the God. grilled. Pork. Yeah, grilling pork. <laughs> Like some gifts out here in the Philippines, my gosh! Like left it's everywhere, right. left and right. Like there are stores here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, there's so much of like uh, some gifts out stores here. Uh, next is uh, best skincare tip. Um, no matter how drunk you are, you have to wash your face before you go to sleep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I felt that because <laughs> it's so hard, diva. Right? I mean. I mean, when you're like so drunk and you feel like you want to sleep already. <laughs> oh, and and you have to drink a lot of water. I love drinking water. Yeah, that's so true. I take note of. <laughs> Wait to wash your face. Last, I know it's not last. Second to the last is uh, your best K drama series. Ah, uh, um, the one that I can remember, Signal. There's this like Signal. Mm, okay. Mm. And for the last uh, part of this game, the, the last question rather is your ultimate favorite English word. English word, grateful. Oh. oh. I actually, that's the word grateful is written on my cacao, the messenger chat, yeah. like mm-hmm. the profile. I, I have it. Grateful. It's like the description. But, yeah. Description. I, part. I have grateful, if you can see. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So nice. Yeah, well, I guess that's uh, that for the game. Thank you so much for participating, and we enjoyed like all of your answers, most especially the BTS part. You know, yeah, I love <laughs> BTS. <laughs> I really love it. But uh, Miss Jenny, we're now down to the last set of questions we want to ask you. Uh, for sure, there are a lot of Filipino listeners who want to learn the the Korean language. Uh, could you please share with us some tips and and about learning the Korean language? Okay, well, the first most important thing is you have to subscribe and listen to my <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> no, I think that's, that's a joke, but uh, I think in any language, I believe there are two parts in when you're learning a language. The first part is input, and the second part that most people forget is output. So what I mean in detail is people learn and they get so many information throughout all internet school teaching but they are afraid of the output part and what i mean by output is actually using the language actually talking it actually listening or writing or speaking the language and i think this other half of learning process instead of just writing and memorizing the words and phrases you speaking it out and you actually using the language is really really important in learning a language and i talked about how a language is not just language but it's a lifestyle of that country and it's a lifestyle of those uh citizens of that country so uh i guess i want to say that you have to make your surrounding if you're really dedicated in learning a language make your surrounding different if you want to learn korean maybe Uh, listen to Korean songs more often and try to say Korean words that you remember. Uh, for instance, if you go walking by and you see an apple, instead of just thinking it's an apple, you know, oh, or just like try to implement those yeah. little Korean words day on a daily basis. And I think that really helps. And I think, yeah, I think those are the little tips that I try to use. Mm. I try to use um, the daily basis, so I hope it was, I hope it's helpful for you guys. So number one tip, come and come and learn in my class. <laughs> <laughs> do that. That's no try thing. To, try to really implement and actually use the language. There's no use if you're not using it, so. 
yeah. For sure, we will be taking notes of that. <laughs> and going to the last uh, question uh, for this podcast, what can you say to your supporters who have been supporting your Korean classes and other contents that you put out on your YouTube channel? Uh, well, really, I guess again, I'm like so grateful for my fans because actually, when I was doing the uh, Korean teaching for a few years, there were times where I didn't want to do it, and there were there are still some times where it's very hard to maintain. And these days, I am doing some other business as well, so I am not as active, or I could say that some. I don't do Korean classes as often as I do it, but I'm still again so grateful for my fans being so patient. <laughs> They're so patient, and oh, like if I'm if I don't show up for a while, they still understand and yeah. like say it's okay. But I just want and I just want you to come back, Teacher Jenny, and like those Aww. little comments. It's like oh my god, <laughs> I should really work harder and like make more Korean videos. And I think that really gives a motivation and. Um, energy to continue my role as a creator and teaching Korean teaching. Yeah, well, I guess uh, that's for sure. I mean, uh, here in our podcast, uh, there are a lot of like Filipinos who have been wanting to learn the Korean language, and you know, who who knows, you might like they 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 will for sure uh, go to your channel and just learn the 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 Korean language, maybe right right after this interview. But, <laughs> yeah. And uh, before we wrap up this uh, interview, uh, is there anything you would like to promote in the show, uh, your future events, projects, and where they can find you? Oh, you guys can find me on Facebook, Jenny Korean Class, and on YouTube, Jenny's Alive, and Instagram, Jenny's Alive. And it's the name Jenny's Alive is it came from me always doing live videos. Yeah, that's Jenny, very. Yeah. It's very iconic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, again, uh, if you guys are patient with me, thank you so much for um, still waiting and supporting and loving my country and loving learning hunger. And I'm very thankful for this opportunity as well. And yeah, let's be friends. Chingwaza. <laughs> yes, we love, <laughs> we love. To. And if you guys ever come to Seoul. You have a friend to meet in Seoul, so remember that. My gosh, oh. yes. Oh. So I remember this day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, to our dear listeners, make sure you guys catch her uh, social media accounts. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, just a realization for our last, ah uh, no, season finale episode. So what she said was actually right. Uh, my dad also said that it, if you want to learn a language, you like use it every day. Yeah. So that's how he learned uh, French because he was he stayed in Paris. So yun nito niya sa akin na yung nanay niya so parang balit dola ko. Pag may kausap daw sa phone, it's parang native speaker ng uh, French. So the reason behind that is yung sinabi ni same with ano sinabi ni Miss Jenny na. It's the yung surrounding and y- yung constant practice nung uh, language and then very ano very kung minung sinabi niya again nung like the language is not merely a language but it's like the lifestyle of a country and hindi siya madali yung mag-aaral ano another language because it's like reset nung basics yeah. and it's not, and for like Hangul, it's not yung A B C D E. It's yung antawag dun characters. So bukod dun sa like dialogues, how they construct sentences, you have to know each character. So effort then and yeah, and maintaining is like one of I would agree yung maintaining effort and practice. Yung sinabi ni Miss Jenny. So yun yung akin. Yeah, very important. Same with wow. what my dad said. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, ako naman, realization ko for the finale of our podcast. Oh my gosh, it's the oh. finale. Uh, siguro yung tumatak sa akin with what she said earlier is that, uh, di ba, uh, noong 2016, she visited the Philippines for, uh, like, she volunteered for a project here oh. in our country. 
and when she like uh, realized how Filipinos are very supportive of uh, like the K-pop, basically the uh, the country, the, the South Korea. Then when she thought of like how will she like give back sa support na binigay ng mga Filipinos, and yun ay uh, yung pagtuturo ng ng uh, what do you call this Korean language for free on social media. So with that, with her journey towards like finding her her passion talaga sa pagtuturo ng Korean language. Siguro yung naging realization ko is that siguro sa buhay natin di ba parang it's it's a must talaga for people na tumanaw ng utang na loob. Kasi di ba uh, with in her case without like the support of the Filipinos. Siguro di ba hindi hindi siya magkakamero ng ng platform or opportunity to share her her knowledge in the Korean language and and siguro hindi rin niya ma-feel na alam mo yon na may mga tao not just in South Korea but you know here in the Philippines and the rest of the world na magsusuport sa sa kanyang ginagawa so i guess it's it's uh right to you know uh, give back to those people who supported you uh nung mga time na alam mo yun, parang walang wala ka walang wala ka or parang you don't have the the image or like the the name pa in the in the industry yeah and then you to think na it's not like yan she wants yung may, yung ano very much siya but then yung purpose behind all of this was because of that event yeah yung nakita niya yung tao yeah yung Ah, nagtutuo na lang ako ng Korea. Like, iba yun. I- I- ewan ko, like, nakaka-touch na hindi ko ma-explain. Yeah, and she's very humble then to, to do that. Kasi di ba, in the first place, wala na, parang, wala naman talagang, ano siya, parang, wala naman sa, sa plano niya to, to do that. Pero, the fact that, you know, she she took that opportunity to thank the Filipinos then talaga in the ways that she can, just like pitching Korean class for free. It's very, I know, it's very humbling and we really admire then talaga her initiative to to give back in our country. Yeah, and agree. And once again, on behalf of Pinoy Soul Radio, we would like to thank you, Ms. Jenny Lee, for accepting our invitation to our podcast. Yes, maraming salamat or should I say thank you Miss Jenny Lee for spending your time with us and thank you for sharing your amazing story and we hope to meet you soon in person. Yes, and to our dear listeners who are tuned in with us today for our finale episode, thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Miss Jenny Lee and we can't promise you that we will have a season 2 but hopefully the next interim will like uh, also look at this pod we'll also look to continue this podcast so uh, and they will hopefully see the beauty and purpose of continuing this and we don't know Lloyd uh, malay natin yung mga hindi natin na interview it this is <laughs> yeah this is yeah. your redemption era <laughs> redemption era so guys hopefully you know kasama to sa plan and I guess this is the time to thank uh, people who supported and like helped us through this podcast so first is yeah Sir Nash for pitching the idea of like hey I want a podcast as like a radio program so because of that we had the chance to interview 10 amazing people and yeah, to like Sir Julius, Miss Mimi, and to everyone in like PS Media who like reached out to us when we were looking for like a guest. So yeah, a big thank you. And of course, uh, Miss Lorraine. Yeah, our, Miss Lorraine. Our hero. hero. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for if you're listening. Uh, we don't know how to thank you like enough yeah enough yeah po and you gave us like ilang yes you know, three yeah I th- I think it's yeah three, three or more so yeah Miss Lorraine mm-hmm. a big thank you po talaga we wouldn't know what we would do 
without you. Kami nag-reach out sa'yo. Yeah. So, yeah, and of course, thank you to Pipoy for like being always there for us to back us up. And to you, Lloyd, thank you then for like, uh, oh, you know, God, no? <laughs> uh, I'm not ready, but like, yeah, thank you for like being a good sport, uh, a great friend, and yeah, this internship in general, like, uh, helped me get to know you more, not only like as a classmate, but like as a friend, and yeah, we're not on like the same circle of friends, but yeah, through this internship, lahat na napag-usapan. So yeah. yeah, really grateful for those moments. So a big thank you then to you. Yeah. Yes, grabe. Like, Parang ayoko naman maging emotional ngayon, pero... Uh, ayun, Jazz, but if I may just share lang din talaga. I remember when we were struggling pa talaga in the first few episodes of our podcast. Kasi di ba... Grabe yung pinagdaanan natin. It's it's something na parang alam mo yon here in in the broadcasting department. Parang with the manpower that we have, three members in one department. Pero nagawa nating mapul of lahat in, in the pre-production, production, post-production. And I guess if you know if our professors or like friends, if katanungin nila ako if What's that one thing talaga na parang pinaka proud ako during my internship days? It's it's ano talaga like yung kung paano natin na pull off yung isang bagay na akala natin hindi natin kaya. And, and that's it the podcast. Ah <laughs> uh, ayun talaga. And before talaga natin i-wrap this finale, ako then personally I would like to thank Uh, a few special people then talaga. For though you <laughs> <laughs> Pero ayun, uh, itong mga people na to, though you've mentioned them kanina, pero personally like galing talaga sa akin, I would also uh, like to thank them. So, the first is to Sir Nash Ang, thank you for um, believing in us and for giving us this amazing opportunity. As what just said earlier talaga, this is something that uh, we did not see coming talaga. Parang, it's really unexpected. Yeah, talaga. Parang, grabe. Parang, during the first days talaga ng internship natin, namin, akala talaga namin maghahanda lang kami ng Pinoy Soul Radio and other stuff yeah, talaga. Yeah. Pero knowing that you you've trusted us with this uh, podcast, it's really a big, a big thing sa amin. And to Miss Lorraine, Sir Julius, and Miss Mimi, Uh, thank you for helping and guiding us and finding the guests in our podcast. And also, for checking us out talaga na, alam mo yun, from time to time, oh, Jess and Lloyd, may guest na ba kayo for the next episode? Or, yes. kamusta yung ganto ganyan nyo? We really appreciate and uh, na-feel talaga namin yung sincerity na sa pagtulong nyo sa amin. And to Pipoy, na bagong graduate sana all, Uh, our, our co-intern for always supporting us and for handling the technical stuff of this podcast and alam mo na yun Pipoy sa mga sa mga bagay din na hindi, hindi namin kaya ni Just talaga thank you for yeah. uh, sa pagsalo and for giving us oo <laughs> oh, oh, maraming salamat and to Just ayun grabe we've been through a lot and maraming salamat din for giving your all not just here in the podcast but alam mo yun sa broadcasting department talaga and in and if it weren't for ta- talaga i think hindi ko hindi ako makaka-survive sa <laughs> sa podcast na to kasi to be honest when uh Sir Nash ang pitch talaga itong podcast grabe ang dami nang tumatakbo sa isip ko na parang kaya ko ba na ako lang mag-isa di ba parang then yung ano like do kayo and then ikaw oh just <laughs> oh gusto niya ako na mag-decide pero to be honest talaga uh knowing myself for someone na uh, Uh, who has been parang paano ko sabihin iniiwasan talaga yung mga gantong bagay kasi to be honest uh, though I am I am a communication student one of my fear talaga is parang ano ko talaga pero one of my fear is to speak in front of a large audience pero in with our case you know to to talk to different people kasi parang for the longest time ayun nga, parang natatakot ako with uh, ano yung masasabi ko or kung ano yung lalabas sa bunga nga ko kasi I am really afraid of uh, getting bash, I say should I say, or parang or 
siguro ma- 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 ma-judge or makasakit ako ng mga tao na hindi ko naman talaga minimin. Kasi that's uh, one of the hardest part of being a, ho- a host ng podcast or even the events. So, siguro, it's a learning experience and uh, through this podcast, I was able to uh, step out of my comfort zone and to just test out the waters then kung hanggang saan ko kaya magdala ng, ng podcast. So, ayon and to the PS Media family, sa lahat po na bumubuo ng PS Media family, maraming maraming salamat for trusting us and for giving us this amazing opportunity. Uh, lagi po namin tong uh, Uh, tatanawin as a utang na loob and we will never take this for granted. Oh. So, ayun. Ako pala ang magsasalita. <laughs> ako pala. And ayun nga, guys, for the listeners of this podcast, uh, for the last time, at least for now, uh, with my famous line, now we have reached the closing part of today's finale episode of our podcast with this Jenny Lee. And as much as we want to extend this podcast, our time is up. And that is it for the finale episode of Anyo Cuento Mo with, Je- with Miss Jenny Lee. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, if Anyo Cuento Mo will have its season 2, we'll never know. Uh, shout out to my next interns. Hopefully, guys, you would consider this radio program once again. And hopefully, marami pang aabangan ng ating listeners. Yes, and I'm always excited and looking forward if magkakamayan nga tayo ng season 2 sa next batch of interns. And also make sure to catch the other shows in Pinoy Soul Radio like PS Pa Request with DJ Samji every Monday and Pinoy Soul Top 20 that is live every Friday. So make sure to vote for your favorite K-pop songs by following the format posted on our Twitter account. It's at Pinoy Soul. And also for the last time, same last <laughs> Shameless plug, uh, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Lloyd Bagos X. And just, ayun, please uh, uh, promote. Kasi alam ko meron, ka, meron ka din ipopromote. Yeah, guys. Follow nyo si Lloyd for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Kasama yun. And of course, our mobile app, Pinoy Soul Radio for Android users. And hopefully, for the next uh, batch, is magkaroon na for iOS. So, Make sure you guys uh, watch out for that. Like our Facebook page and visit our website. Both is PinoySoul, Pino- PinoySoul.com to get updates with our latest content. Also, replays of each episodes will be available on our YouTube channel, which is PinoySoul, every Wednesday. So make sure to subscribe for you guys to get notified. And of course, if Lloyd promoted his Instagram, I will promote my Instagram. Please follow me. Uh, it's at justk underscore d08. Just do it. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that's it. This has been Lloyd signing off. And I'm Jas signing off and you're listening to Anyong Kwenta Mo where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both Philippines and Korea. Tune in next time for another fun and exciting episode only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. Bye! Alright. O, oh, diba? Grabe, grabe. No? Meron tayong pahabol for this, ano, final episode, no? This is, uh, the man usually behind the, ano, the scenes, Pipoy, no? And I'm here with Jazz and Lloyd. And, guys, uh, let's talk about, ano, like, your journey then, no? Let's, uh, give you guys a chance kasi di ba kayo naman yung laging nag interview about now di ba kayo ang interview hen so di pa kami prepared <laughs> so for our listeners no uh, let's get to know them more no sa ano na to sa special episode na to so let's just start with it no no uh, let's go with the ano the first questions na How did you guys feel no nung bin ring up tong idea ng podcast? 
Who should? Kasi, ako muna. Kasi, it's originally sa kanya eh. Yeah, uh, ay, ayaw, ayaw. Oh, sige. To be honest, yun, uh, nung na first na sinabi na magkakamera ng podcast, I remember that was true. Ano pa yun? Google chat, di ba? Yeah. Oh. Right, di ba? Google chat. And ayun, uh, nung na first na sinabi ni Sir Nash, ang unang talaga pumasok sa isip ko is, kaya ko ba? Kasi, uh, aware talaga tayo, di ba, during those times, aware tayo na uh, ang pinaka uh, main problem with our team is the manpower. Kasi during those times, nung no, nag-iisip tayo ng mga, ng mga projects or shows that we will air on the radio, it's always the manpower talaga na parang, yeah, wait, kaya ba? Oh, wait, kaya ba? Oh, kaya ba natin na ganito ganyan? Yun yung una pumasok sa isip ko. Pero, nung sinabi ni Sir Nash, or like, nung nag-another pitch siya na parang, why not just join the, the, the podcast? So, parang, nung sinabi niya yun, medyo nabuhayin ako na parang, ay, hindi ako mag-isa. Na parang, <laughs> alam mo yun, may, may assurance ako na someone will be helping me na, alam mo yun, to get through this uh, podcast. Pero aside from that, knowing na medyo na pressured ako, there there's uh, parang part of me na very thankful na na natouch ako na sinabi niya na kayang-kaya mo 'yan kasi magaling ka naman magsalita although yeah. there are times na kinakwestiyon ko yung sarili ko na magaling ba talaga ako talagang matalak lang yung parang ganun. Pero <laughs> ayun, I'm very thankful din talaga sa opportunity na binigay. Das ikaw bilang nasama ka din talaga dito. <laughs> Talaga ikaw yung ano eh, number one ano eh, Kalad Kera, ano ba? Uh, oh, oh, Kalad Karen, yun. Kalad Karen. Kalad Karen. Uh, oh, yung, no. yung sinabi, di ba we had our individual uh, project, so there was mm-hmm. PS per request, Pinoy Soul Top 20, wala pa to, and then akin yung mobile app. Honestly, hindi ko alam anong gagawin ko with the mobile app, kasi that time, di ba, if you guys remember, Yung headset ko was broken. Oh, oh my god. And then hindi ko na rinig yun. And then like, kayo na lang nagsabi sa akin. I had zero idea nung like gagawin talaga. Yung content calendar ko was messed up. And then, siguro like a big relief sa akin yung, why not do kayo? And then, from there, honestly, it's like, oh, finally, may actually gagawin na. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like, no, sabi, my oh, time, no. di ba? <laughs> my time. Oh. And then, sabi, nag-agree na ako kasi I know na yung, for myself, promoting the mobile app wasn't enough for one intern. Kasi, it's technical, ano eh? What do you call this? Yung techy stuff siya. Mm. And then, hindi pa ako nakaano dun sa Azura cast. Yung mga, like, uh, kailangan ilog in. So, yeah. I felt pretty much like, ala, anong gagawin ko? Out of tatlo tayo, um, I felt na ako yung like, ala, feel ko ako yung like, hahabuli ni sir. Like, oh, gawin mo yan, gawin uh. mo yan. Kasi, build up lang yung iyo. So, when he pitched the idea, oh, do ko kayo. Like, I instantly agreed. Mm. Or like, that. Madagdagan yung gagawin ko and uh, wala na pumasok na other task so I had to <laughs> for Ako maririnig ni sir And yeah. honestly like ito talaga I felt na hindi enough yung yeah, mobile app uh, program for myself so I like the idea of being part of the podcast itself so yun yeah, And it's actually really fulfilling din diba like being Mm-mm. in the part of something this big din like, ikaw rin, di ba? Like, I mean, you guys know, parang hindi rin, like, sanay like, mm-hmm. to do this honest. stuff. And, uh, like, from my end, I'm really proud of you guys. Like, how you guys pulled it off, you know. You know, your late night na, ano, na paggawa ng script. It was, it was all worth it. You know, talagang yeah. worth it siya. Kasi talagang, oh my god, the guest, you know, di ba? So, moving on to the, for, ano, sa next question natin, no? For the listeners, no, what was the process of planning an episode? Since, uh, nabanggit ko na rin pala na, ano, no, about dun sa mga script writing natin. Oh, yeah. Well, to be honest, uh, since nung, since nung sinabi ni Sir na magkakamarami kami ng podcast, 
uh, at that moment, sinabi na rin niya na 10 episodes ang kailangan mm. namin ma-produce sa, during our stay here in PS Media. So, nung sinabi niya, talagang very, hindi na kami mag-alay, pero very tight ang schedule talaga. Mm. To the point, kasi uh, Jess and I, meron pa kami different uh, projects na minamanage or shows na minamanage sa PS Media. And uh, yung mga projects na yon, like in my case, uh, ako yung mga nag edit you know? So it's very time consuming and it's really hard din talaga to, to have that time management. Pero uh, in terms of the process, uh, in the span of two months, di ba Jess? Para kasi yung... Uh, yeah. first month which is the march it's like the planning stage namin so we took that as an opportunity talaga to settle lahat ng kailangan from, from the so in short inuna namin is like the pre-planning stage inuna namin yung uh, magiging outline ng script and then gumawa kami ng mga scripts for the uh, what do you call this yung mga sinasabi ni people uh Ano yan, ano the, yan? OB, the OB, the OB, OBB, uh, OBB, yeah. Yon gumawa kami ng ganon. Then, uh, naghanap na rin ako ng mga pegs. And then, kung paano, kung, basically, kung paano yung nagiging image nung, ano, nung podcast. So, yun yung naging first process. And, uh, not to mention, then, yung mga logos, yung mga color coding. Oo, yun eh, di ba? Oo, talagang, eh, pinag-isipan din talaga natin yung mga ganyang bagay. Kasi, in the first place, yung podcast, we wanted it na parang very light, yes, yes. very fun, and not too mabigat na podcast. Alam mo, not too serious. Kaya, ganun din yung kinilabasan. And also, the name, ano yung kwento mo, I guess, parang, nag-pop up lang siya out of nowhere. Oo. Kasi, di ba, nag-iisip tayo na parang, why not i-mix natin yung word ng Korean word and Filipino para, alam mo yun, something na ano, diverse, uh, diverse. Oh, yung, yung meaning. Yung, yung meaning. Yung like anong kwento. Oh, oh. At saka, ano yun eh, parang last minute natin siyang naisip oh, before yeah. natin siya i-pitch the, sa, like sa the, whole. Yung talagang brain, ano na, ano, oh, moment, okay. brainy moment na. Last brain cell na natin yun. <laughs> <laughs> made sense, no? Like, mm-hmm. ala, sabi ni na, dun sa main call, if you guys remember, ala, ang witty, may nag-comment. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. nabigla na lang din tayo, na witty pala yun. Though, hindi natin siya naisip na witty. So, <laughs> Parang dihado pa tayo. Yun, no? Sobrang cute naman ang title. Yeah. Ba, and, but, ah, sorry, go, go, Jess. Oo so, na, like, di ba, sabi, ala, very familiar. Nag, ayaw ko if naisip mo yun, Lord. Yung ala, very familiar sa PC setup natin. Mag-iinvita sa guests. Ah, oh, yeah. And then I like, record via Zoom. Yeah. So, mukuna talaga I said, uh, very ano to. Ah. Yeah, so, I think familiar. that's a good thing din yun, yun, yung part na yun, since you, you guys have a background na rin no sa podcast since yun nga ginamit niya sa thesis niyo. And talagang nakatulong yun din dito, yeah. right? Yeah, and in the difference is though same sila like discussion something, mas serious yun. But like no una, like a oh, very thesis talaga siya. So from forming yung ano letter, di ba remember Lloyd na? Oh, it's very uh, ano formal and very uh, ano. Like to reach out to someone or oh, it's the Philippine ambassador. Kailangan like umuha tayo. You have to be it. formal and something na ano talaga. <laughs> Alam signature guys sir. Oh, and it oh. turned out from he said hindi naman daw kailangan so. Oh, yeah. Nagpanit na rin ang konti. Thinking ngayon, parang ano pa siya, parang mowa pa. To be oh, honest, yeah. Sobrang panic ano tayo, na. panic talaga. So, very anxious tayo nung time na yun. Yeah. And, right, and go going ahead. back sa, sa, sa question, kasi uh, since this is a process, uh, ayun, since na, na-discuss na yung pre-planning stage, uh, siguro yung next batch of interns will be curious, paano yung like uh, time namin pag nagpa... Yung specific... Ano bang tawag doon? Like, preparation time. Uh, to be honest... Prep time. Uh, prep time. To be honest, uh, yung mga uh, last namin, like mga last few episodes, basically, that's one week of a preparation. Pero yung mga first part, medyo nagkameron kami ng mahaba-habang preparation. Parang uh, the first two guests ay, ano, parang mga two weeks preparation. Since, alam mo yun, meron tayong enough time. Pero yung iba talaga, one week preparation lang. Uh, lahat na po yun, uh, from the script writing, pag-invite ng guest, pag, uh, pag-set ng mga uh, Zoom and Google Meet links, 
<laughs> dry runs, uh, what else. Basta everything talaga, kami lang pong tatlo na ganun talaga yung schedule namin. And siguro the the first uh, the first parts nung 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 part na yon it's very alam mo yun, parang nararatel kami na kaya ba namin maka 10 episodes in the yeah. span of 10 months tapos nahihirapan kami mag-contact ng mga guests kasi parang kina-question namin sino ba kami para i-accept yung parang ganon yeah. pero thankfully di ba with the help with the help of uh, PS Media then uh, we were able to secure 10 different uh, people or guests sa episode and lastly sa production naman uh, since ako po yung nag edit ng mga ano oh, ng yeah. mga mga videos na usually nagra-run for an hour or minsan oh my God, oh. 1 and 30 minutes hindi po sa pag uh, ano tawag doon hindi sa pagsisinungaling or something hindi rin po ko tamada pero to be honest in-edit ko lang siya a day before or sometimes <laughs> that day the oh, day yeah. na na oo oh, oh. pero Yun naman ay, ano, to be honest, nahirapan lang ako sa, sa, sa part na doon sa first part kasi walang template eh. Wala akong format na sinusunod. Pero uh, nung nag, nagkamera na tayo ng season, ay season ng episode 3 after 10, very madali na siya. So it's, it's not really like, ano, parang super hard na sa akin. So ayun lang naman. And time management talaga yung nakatulong sa amin. And yung relationship namin as a, as a team, yun yung nakatulong talaga na Ma- ma pull off namin yung 10 episodes in this podcast. Teamwork Just a go. Teamwork, diba? Yeah. 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 yeah, how about you guys? Like, how, how was the process of the ano? Dun ako nag, first nag panic talaga dun sa first letter that we made. Mm. <laughs> Invitations, <laughs> right? Oh, kailangan ng signature ni sir. Kasi this is too the Philippine ambassador. Akala ko talaga kasi I also handled yung like yung pag email nung thesis time natin. So, from there, I started, bakit? No. Kailangan to. <laughs> then, yeah, nagpahanag talaga ako ng time na yun. And what if, I had thoughts na what if, ala, ano lang to, what if they think it's a joke. Kasi, interns. And then I think ako yung may idea, nang hingi tayo ng template. Yeah. So, yeah. Na, May letter, what do you call it? May letter template sila. And then, may header, oh, header. Oh, and they said, oh, oh, wala. And then, oh my God. I said, no, kailangan yan. Lagi, ilagay yung ano, PS Media logo. It's a need. Para like, mukha naman siyang... Formal, di ba? Formal yeah, invitation formal. talaga. And, yeah. I guess yung first two episodes, like, naka-ready siya for us eh. In a way, like, oh, sige, Sir Nash said, Oh, we have Kyung Min, we have uh, the Philippine ambassador. So that's, in parang, okay, we had an idea kung sino ang makakausap natin. And yeah, yung sinabi ni Lloyd, two weeks to prepare. So yung two weeks na yun was like a while. And then yung mga incoming was like, tayo na. We can do that. <laughs> Well, no, it was still challenging talaga. Oh, because mm-hmm. what you guys said, no, yung dun sa first and second episode, it was, it was like given to us talaga. No? Yeah. Though, uh, yun nga, big shout out alet na kay Miss Lorraine no, for giving us a lot of ideas. Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. Kasi yun, like, very hard na rin. Na, like, nakita ko rin, eh, nakita ko rin lang yung struggle nyo dun sa part na okay bakit hindi pa siya nagre-reply bakit ganyan ganyan yeah. di ba yeah. like okay paano ba natin hahanapin yung ano niya kasi grabe grabe no, parang dun sa 90 day plan na ginawa natin no di ba talagang mm. a big adjustment no yeah to be honest malaki talaga yung mm. parang hindi talaga siya super nasunod no? mm-hmm. pero yeah. alam mo yun at least we were finally able to have 10 episodes yeah. Just in time. Pa nga tayo eh, like sa main call, sabi, kaya ba? Oh. Kaya ba? What if it's seven episodes na lang? Oh, yeah. Oh. Diba? May mga gano'n tayo sa second thoughts. First draft nung calendar, and I think si Miss Jewel, so, grabe guys, yung, ha, yung parang they felt, I think si Sir Christian was there, like, unlupit, but parang like, 
Kaya-kaya naman. Oo, oh, yung lagi, <laughs> la- lahat sila, di ba? I mean, I'm not saying that Concern they, they doubt sila, us. Eh. Oo. Concern lang. Oo, like, lag- ang ano nila is yung kaya ba nung ano within this span of uh, three two months. months. Two months, two months, three months. Two months, uh, three months. Two months or three months. Then, alam mo yun, like, sobrang ano lang din talaga, pressure. And, you know, I'd like to add, no, yung ano, dun sa, ano, no, like, it's really hard to be a creative. Uh, like, you guys, what you guys are doing, what we are doing, no? Ang hirap maging creative. Yeah. At the same time, meron kang parang uh, corporate deadline, if that's mm-hmm. a word, diba? Uh, yeah. So, parang, okay, kailangan natin maging fun, kailangan natin maging ano, but at the same time, meron tayong deadline na hanggang dito lang yung ano natin, time natin na pwede mag-record. And, you know, seeing you guys really grind uh, your way into that, no? Without sacrificing anything. Like, I mean, like, sacrificing the creative creativity of the episode, no? Hands down, no? You guys really did good. Hi. 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 So, let's move on to the next question. Um... Challenges, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, I know the pinaka stressful moments na encounter nyo dito sa podcast. Sige. Pengi pong one hour for this part. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, to be honest, nag-start ako mag-intern block yung hair ko. Ano na ngayon? Gray na. Oh, diba? <laughs> Madami na pinagdaanan. Ang dami ko ng coping mechanism sa ginawa. <laughs> Nag-gold pa yan, di ba? Nag-gold oh, pa yung oh. hair na yan. Grabe. Pero to be honest, if uh, mag, mag, magsasabi ako ng pinaka as in pinaka stressful sabi ko kay Just before it's, it's not about the editing eh. it's not about the editing it's not, it's not about writing the script it's not about the dry runs it's about the guests talaga kasi ito nga binuksan ko yung Google Drive ko kasi sabi ko alam ko yung itatanong ni people uh, going back sa mga emails na pinagsasend natin in the span of two months Kasi basically, yung March natin, preparation lang talaga yun eh. Mm-hmm. In the span of two months, we sent 27 emails to different people. Kasi 27. talagang 27 emails talaga. Kaya sabi ko, grabe, parang ang dami talaga namin sinuotang butas ng karayan para nang mahanap tong mga taong na taong ito. And alam mo yun, though we understand that uh, yung some people na in-invite namin, though we were looking forward to have them in the show, pero alam mo yun, busy yung life, so we can force them to attend. Pero ayun talaga yung pinaka-stressful sa akin. And also, just to add, uh, aside from the pre-planning na pagsasend ng emails, pinaka-stressful then is like the environment that I'm in. If yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> Grabe talaga. I think the chickens, the mag-iinom. Oh, yeah, chicken. The, vid- <laughs> the, mag- the video <laughs> okay. The shopping, magtatawag. <laughs> Lahat na talagang grabe. Lahat na ng adjustment ginawa ko to the point na I was thinking na magdo-dorm ba ako or para mag apartment pa ako for ano, the, the last two months ng, ng, ng what do you call this last two months ng internship natin para lang alam mo yung tahimik yung surroundings for the podcast pero I guess that's life <laughs> na may mga maingay talaga and there are things that we cannot control so ayun lang yung akin pinaka most stressful and waking up in the morning oh lang. yeah <laughs> most of our recordings no? if you guys oh, don't morning. know no? lagging morning yan. we shot okay. them every 9am early Nine bird kami eh, di ba mm-hmm. How about you, Jess? What's Mine the most was, and stressful moment? Yung waking up na nga ng maaga na walang ka pa ng internet. Oh, oh yeah. Naaalala ko yan. Very vivid pa sa utak ko. <laughs> and yung nawala na ako ng internet, I what feel like I... The Philippine Ambassador, my gosh. Sabi ko, bigatin pa. Oh, hindi ko alam. Yeah, and I feel right now, anytime, I think, wala, ay, wala ka nga kahapon, Tipo. I think, may nag- Ronda dito. Mawawala oh, na oriente. So, if that <laughs> night goes out, <laughs> ay, nako. Alam nyo na. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, aside from that, yeah, yung environment, pag nawala yung ilaw na yan, mabubuha yung generator and I think with this headset, may yeah. mag-aas or gumawa ganun. But, yeah, yung gumising ako ng maaga. I know, no, the night before, 
nawalan na kasi uh, you guys know I'm awake like two or three. Yeah, yeah we know. Nawalan, yeah. <laughs> we know. <laughs> and then that time nawala yung internet. I said, I oh, really. Oh oh, kasi yung yan yung sabi mo na manood ka ng pop up group. That's the time na like. Oh, ayaw nga pala. Okay, okay. Like, sige, I will watch this thing. And then nawala and said, ah, babalik naman yun. Like, mga six, ganun. <laughs> but then, nung pagising ko, oh my God, walang internet. do may ano, yung waves uh, sa gilid. Yeah. Ganun yun eh, walang connection, hindi naglo-load. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Rating, oh my God. Oo, and then, pagpaso, then I, that's when it hit me na, oh shit. In like, an hour or like uh, 30 minutes wala akong like internet alam kong nagpa-panic si Lloyd yeah. tumawag na oh, siya alam mo lang then, talaga and then yung stressful part dun pwede naman magpa-load kaya ko magpa-load and then alam mo yung sabi ko pa-load po ma yung, yung face niya like ah load <laughs> ah sige wait lang and I said, ala, doon ako nag-panic and then doon ako nag-decide, what if kinakuya ako and then I don't know ano nangyayin, dumating yung PLDP doon sa may sa labas namin and then yun, nakiusap nanay ko from there, yeah. Oh, Same. hindi ko alam na ganun. Blessing, di ba? Blessing, I don't know, pan- I guess na-feel ni PLDP. <laughs> yeah, but... someone is in You need me, my child, di ba? <laughs> yeah. Si Lord here, nagpatand lang. But <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, oh, nice. ah, actually, oo. Oh, oh. And then during recording, yung sinasabi ko na, like this light, mamaya, anytime, mawawala yan. Uh, I don't know hmm. kung anong time yung announcement kahapon. But yeah, if alam nyo yun, yung pag nawawala yung connection, may lalabas na your internet connection is interrupted. So, yeah. Interrupted something. Shaking. And then, oh, and then middle of recording. <laughs> Loki nagdadasal na ako like, Lord, please. Like, mga 30 minutes pa. Saka like, mag ikat yung internet or something. Kasi alam ko, actually, I heard that already sa isang recording na, bakit yung, but nawala for like, good 10 seconds. And then biglang nag, yung parang nag fast forward. Oh, said, nagmadali ah, bigla do. Oh, nagmamadali and it's uh, you're running man siya you're running man <laughs> and yun yun sinabi ko na kay Lloyd Lloyd pahingi nung ano copy mo kasi mine's messed up so yun a big challenge internet and yeah yun din yung paghanap ng guests we're, we were hopeful na oh pop group oh, oh this guy and then we actually had a contact to one of the members of a pop group diba and then a management replied na busy lang and then yeah from there hindi na yun natuloy hopefully yung mga susunod na yun yeah na. get but it they're trying again so you know you, when we were talking about it you know because like very very down tayo mag ano na no ano peep up kasi wala tayong makuha talaga as in nila down yung mga ano it's not oh yeah it's not just it's not just it's not just <laughs> yung, <laughs> ano, <laughs> yung like uh wala tayong makuha but Maganda rin kasi sa people pop eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Honestly, no? I've, it's, it's uh, ano, a missed opportunity talaga. Sobra, oh. Ilang Sobra trip solid. Na. Yeah, I mean, Four? How many P-Pops ang in-invite natin? Four na ata. Uh, Four? Let's not drop the name na lang nila, no? Kasi ba? <laughs> yeah, it's actually uh, four. Uh, Four. Pero di ba, understandable din naman yung mga ano nila. Yeah, like, they're busy recently. din naman. And again, they are busy. Sila. Ibig sabihin, a lot of people are really embracing people. Kaya sila nah, that's busy, good. Diba? That's a good sign. Yeah, and support uh, local music. No, support people. So grand solid nila. No? So let's go on to our next set of questions. Diba? What did you guys learn from you know, doing and planning for this radio show or podcast? Per se? Ako, personally, <clears throat> para ko ba siya sabihin? Siguro, it's the, ano, stepping out of your comfort zone talaga. Kasi, mm-hmm. for the longest time, I am really afraid, you know, of trying out new things na I'm not, alam mo yun, I'm not comfortable talaga gawin. Pero, uh, with the podcast, it, uh, ano ta dun? Taught me to 
be brave and you know explore the different sides din talaga kasi uh, ayun nga as, as I mentioned earlier very takot talaga ako mag-speak sa sa public or big crowd though very ironic kasi communication student ka so uh, technically it's really part of your job or parang dapat given na na magaling ka doon diba parang there's uh, something sa inside of me na nago hold back ako nagawin siya do gusto ko pero natatakot ganun mm. pero with my experience now i guess naka-add siya or naka-boost sa confidence ko since nakatulong din talaga yung podcast to just ano alam mo yon uh, to just be myself then and to listen up and to just go with the flow sa sa podcast so i guess that is one of the <clears throat> what they call this uh, learning na nakuha ko or na take ko during the podcast and one more is the uh, time management talaga kasi ako uh, may times talaga na tatama din ka kasi alam mo yon it's not always parang productive day ganon there are times na you're not okay and sometimes uh, nakaka-affect siya sa productivity pero with time management kasi alam mo yon kahit feeling namin uh katulad nun, walang guest na kukunin and then next week may interview na kailangan gawin so we, we really had to adjust and we really need to find alam mo yun, solutions in the ba- in the best ways we can so ayun, uh, stepping out of your comfort zone and time management yun nakuha ko, na learnings in this podcast yeah, yeah. time management Wow. Yeah, bak. Ayun yung talagang ano, ano, very very challenging na part talaga. Oh, oh. How about you, Jess? Mine is yung value ng working together. Kasi if some would think na ay okay din naman for like working alone, if like then nga yung sasabi ng mga introverts, I prefer working alone. Pero pag mga like gantong bagay, it's good to have like other like second opinion on something kasi if you think your idea not always your idea is yung tingin mo tama but like on an output minsan kasi it's not right so there it's good to have like you ask your yung mga kasama mo is this good tama ba to and yeah through help of others ma ano mo yung like ma assess nyo oh this is the right word to say kasi there are words na like we think na tama yeah. and it's not uh, fitting or hindi yun yung dapat gamitin or like appropriate for that certain scenario like one example of that is like yung paggawa ng uh, guide questions and yung interview uh, invitation so yeah Lloyd always si Lloyd like, tama ba to? What's the word? Ganyan. Yung parang hindi naman shocking. Hindi yung nakaka-offend. So, yeah. Teamwork if gantong mga bagay. It's good to work alone, guys. But for like a production like this, yeah, you seek, you have to seek help from others. So, yun yung... That's so true. Yeah. That's what I've learned sa, like doing the process of this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, talaga ngayon yung pinaka, ano. Oh Sobrang hirap. Hirap nung ano, no? Like, dung really... Uh, I'm lost of words na. Nawala ako, sorry. Pero like, <laughs> same. Yung, ano, yung, ano yun, yung, ano, yung unang kala nating like, challenge, no? Turned into a really, really big opportunity to learn something new, no? Hindi lang sa ano natin, no? Like, di ba? Grabe, like, we learned a lot kasi yun, nakapag-interview tayo ng mga international peeps, no? It's mm. really, really, really cool to talk to them talaga, no? Like, they have a lot to, ano, to, to say, share. Oh, to share, di ba? So, moving on, no? To sa ating uh, next question, no? If ever the incoming interns no, will continue this podcast, anong advice ang maibibigay niyo sa kanila? Or like, not just yung, let's say not just the interns, no, kung sino man ang uh, gusto magtuloy ng podcast natin. Uh, ako bang muna, Jess? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, ako siguro uh, ang advice talaga na masasabi ko since the podcast itself is, al- is already established. Though uh, I can't lie na alam mo there are parang loopholes pa in this podcast. Siguro uh, ang magiging advice ko na lang is uh, if ever man ha, na under the broadcasting department uh, there will be parang two scenarios lang naman eh. It's either marami uli sila ma- it's either marami na sila or kakaunti uli sila. If the case is marami na sila, that's a good thing kasi uh, mas maraming minds ang nakakapag-collaborate sa ideas and kung paano pa mas mapapabetter yung podcast in terms of like uh, mga ang tawag dito. In terms of mga ideas na pwede yung i-present sa, or, i- or i-add to the podcast itself. And also, mas hindi kayo mahihirapan sa uh, production stuff ng, ng uh, podcast kasi marami ng tutulong and uh, and with that, diba, parang mas, mabi, mas mabilis and mas madali na yung gagawin nyo. Pero if ever the case will be kakaunti ulit kayo, let's say uh, one, two, three, four mga ganong numbers of interns under the broadcasting department, ang magiging advice ko to them is to never question the manpower talaga. Kasi kami, to be honest, in-underestimate namin yung kakayahan namin. Not yes, na that's true. We can, we can surpass naman pala. Masyado lang kami naging emotional and parang mab- mabilis lang sigul- siguro yung takbo sa amin na naunahan kami ng negativity. Pero oh. alam mo yun, uh, fast forward to now, here we are, diba? Naka-10 episodes naman kahit pa paano. Mm. And it's ano yeah. lang talaga, teamwork then and never question the manpower. Kasi Alam mo yun, at the end of the day talaga, uh, if you feel na parang hindi mo na kaya, parang there will always be a reason tal- talaga na, na hindi, kaya mo yan, ma- magagawa mo yan. So, parang always, just uh, parang trust the process and just go with the flow. Yeah. And enjoy, don't forget to enjoy din. Mag- magugulat ka dun sa, ano eh, sa kakayahan mo mag-multitask. To be honest, para ko naging, para ko naging octopus. Diba? Parang yung, yung ganon. Parang naakala mo na like three tasks is sobra na. Mm-mm. Gulat ka like, oh my god, ito palang, ano, this is the real life pala, ano. Talagang marami kang responsibilities and all. Yeah. Juggle, i-juggle mo talaga lahat ng mga stuff na yun. Yeah. How about you, Jess? No? Ano yung uh, tips mo? Is resource? I guess be resourceful. Is there? I don't know if that's the word. Yeah, yeah, resourceful. And like, don't be afraid or mahiya to like reach out to like Fred. Uh, yeah. Or like, yung in interview or like, tingnan mo yung mga followed persons no it, oh, yeah. in interview nyo. Cause you'll never know. The next guest is like a friend nung ano. Previous nung guest. Previous Yes, so that's something we've encountered. And yeah, like very much like uh, our scenario with Miss Lorraine uh, no una we're like, pwede ba magtanong ganun? Nahihiya pa kami kasi baka, yeah. alam mo yun. <laughs> but then the answer was nasa kan- Yeah, then if if like always also make a backup then although they have they give out good suggestions there sometimes of course it's life doesn't like follow what we want so kailangan prepared ka din ng iyo so that's that dun papasok yung pagiging resourceful mo and like yung maano mo sa internet so look at TikTok or see we had Sam we found him on TikTok and look at your own interest so maybe may kilala ka and then yeah, reach out. So, yung ginawa ni Lloyd, like, oh, I know this BTS fan. And then she actually replied. And then, yun nga lang, nahihiya. Yeah. From there, yeah, just, I guess, widen kung, like, look look out, look outside the box. So, so yun yung akin. Like, it's not always yung nasa loob. Like, from Sir Nash to... Miss Mimi, Sir Julius, uh, kay Miss Lorraine, and then 
yeah, why not just search sa YouTube like what happened kay Miss Jenny the Live, uh, kay Juwan Kim. Nag-search lang si Lloyd like Korean vlogger, YouTuber, and then yeah. they are. So, Stalker yeah. kasi ako. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> and yeah, yung mga like keywords, it would lead to something great. So, they should like try it for like the next, if ever magka-season to for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, ay yung pinaka solid na part na ano, yung ano, na improve yung stalking skills ng n- n- dalawa, <laughs> no. And of course, no, sa future uh uh magahandle. Ayun din ang ma-improve for sure. Yung stalking ki- stalking skills niyo kasi talagang big ano yun, big help yun, no. As in talaga oh. yung, ano, not to be exaggerated pero talagang pinasok namin ang mga kasuluk-sulukan ng social diba? media. Talaga <laughs> hahanapin mo eh. Oo. Oo, oh, oh, grabe talaga. Pero yung sa ano, ano yung sa YouTube na let me add to that na inano rin natin no? we were actually focusing no sa paghahanap ng mga guests na merong somehow built a yeah. ano na no? yeah. built a you know a lot of followers na no and i think ayun yung ano isa rin sa nagpadala no and hopefully you know uh, we are really reaching out then doon sa fans nila no yeah hopefully you know, it's it's, a, it's been a really ano wild journey no for you know, for the both of you na talagang gave really all out dito sa podcast Three of na, us, so. actually kasi nagtanong yeah, din kami po ba may kilala yeah. Well, usually, you know, uh, diba, I'm usually behind the camera, no, looking at the, uh, ano na lang din naman. And, this is all on you guys then, no? Pero, yan. Debak! That's the word Debak. of, oh, word of the, no, the word season. Debak! Yeah. Debak! 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 Now, down to our last question. Ooh. So, will there be a season 2 of Anyong Kwento Mo? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who knows? <laughs> we will never know. Pero hopefully, di ba, the, the next batch of interns will get to see them. Ah, sorry, talaga. sorry. Uh, start ako over. Ah, sige, sige. Go, go, so, go. Okay, yeah. So, will there be a season 2 of Anyong Kwento Mo? And what are your expectations no, kapag if ever na continue man ulit yung podcast. Well, with <clears throat> with regards to the season two, who knows, di ba? We will never know. Kasi uh, at the end of the day, it's the ano parang sa decision pa rin siya ng new batch of interns if they will be continuing the podcast or will they uh, be presenting a new show for the Pinoy Soul Radio or Pinoy Soul. Pero hopefully, di ba, magkamera ng season 2 kasi to be honest, uh, the benefits or the privilege na naku- nakuha namin na just through this podcast is really something na you cannot get sa other things or sa other shows then Kaya napakaganda rin niya. Just like with what with what I experienced then alam mo yun, for someone na uh, super takot talaga, di ba, makipag-interact and magsalita sa crowd, with this podcast, diba, na, na, na eliminate ko yung, yung fear na yon, and now, diba, it added a lot of confidence sa, sa sarili ko and experience them as a communication student. So, hopefully, diba, magkamera ng season 2 and uh, with, ano, expectations, right? With what I expect naman sa, sa podcast, if ever they will continue it. Ayun nga, sana talaga uh, mag, maging better pa or mas maging solid pa yung foundation ng podcast through the next batch of interns and hopefully then uh, mas makakuha pa sila ng alam mo yun, ng mga guests na, ka, na gusto nila kasi kami talaga there, there are a lot of guests na gusto namin makuha pero with the limited time that we have di ba, we really had to uh, make adjustments then para maka 10 episodes so, ayun lang naman and uh, sana din yung podcast sa sa batch nila is maging available na rin sa Spotify hopefully yeah. kasi it's really like ano, a huge milestone for the anyong kwento mo if ever na 
ma-ipupush nila maging available sa platform na yun. Yeah. Tsaka, talagang ano, ano, for sure, no? For the next years to come. Or for the wow, do you ba? For next the next years. years no? For, for the next yan, no? uh, seasons to come, no? Of course, it will, it will, no? It will definitely improve. Let's claim no? it. So, let's, ano, claim it na, yeah. How about you, Jess? Uh, I'm somewhat hopeful na magka-season 2 because itong podcast, along with like yung two other natin programs, uh, siya yung like, ano eh, like, for like two months, although two months lang, nasana yung people na like, oh, there's a new episode, uy, may PS pa request, oh, there's the top 20 na actually nag-increase ang engagement. So, from the end ni na Sir Nash, I think they liked it. And they are expecting itong mga papasok na please continue these three. Sana. Kasi it what keeps, other than music, it's what keeps the radio alive. And it's yung mga guests natin. It's, alam yun, not really people you'd meet on a regular basis. Alam nyo yun? Like, look, Philippine Ambassador. And it's for like Pinoy Soul Radio. And it's not common sa like other stations if you guys think about it. So I'm really hopeful na like nagustuhan ng company itong podcast and they will like uh, pitch it in once again dun, dito sa incoming interns. And for my expectations, I'm yeah, same with Lloyd na hopefully makuha nila yung gusto nilang guest. Alam niyo yun? Because they have the blueprint already kung what is this podcast about? Who are the these 10 people na nakausap natin? And they from there pa lang, they have like, oh, we have to like find another like 10 or like set of people na kailangan natin interview. So they have this initial idea what type what's like the context of like these people so in a way mas madale for them like ah uh, they have this thing already although may i know mahihirapan sila pag kukuha nung uh, guest yung mga pag approve and stuff so yeah my expectation it's easier and yeah challenging pa din of Not course, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. To add na lang din, ano, sa what should I expect? I think nasabi ko na rin naman, no, na, yeah, it will be easier since it has, you know, a backbone na. But, ano eh, diba, talagang, I'm really hyped, no, sa mga, ano, I mean, yeah, we're still in the same generations as also not. But like knowing that these are you know, fresh minds again, you no, know, with fresh ideas, and I think you know, talagang hopefully, hopefully, you know, talagang ituloy nila to and like mas makapag touch pa tayo ng mas marami pang uh, topics. Because to be honest, you no, know, uh, the given time frame, you no, know, three months or two months per se, you no. Know, uh, Hindi pa natin, parang wala pa tayo sa ano sa ingrown ng ano ng rabbit hole na to. Diba? Talagang sobrang lalim pa na ito. Ang dami pa nating pwedeng malaman, ang dami nating pwedeng may topic. And of course no, uh, kung magkakaroon ng mga following seasons pa to, I'm really hype kung ano yung mag- mangyayari. Like ano pa ba yung di natin alam? ba? Kasi, of course, itong podcast na to, it's not just, you know, the fun in it, you know. It's about, like we said, you know, talking about the culture. And yung malaman natin yung culture nung, like yung Korean culture in, in the point of view of someone who really lived there, you know. Like, given an example, yung kay Kyung Min Kim, you no. Know? Uh, nung nag-interview siya, you no. Know, uh, how can I say this? Yung sa akin, no, like, sa atin, no, it's, it's a dream, no, to live in Korea, to be part of that uh, society. But, nung 
makarinig ka ng statement from someone who really uh, lived there for a, what, a long time din naman eh, no? right? So, a long time, no? Talagang sinabi niya yung social pressures and all. And yung ganun-ganun, di ba? Of course, yung, yung katulad nung uh, napag-usapan natin lately, no? Yung, yung bullying, no? Yung sa certain group na to, no? Na, like, oh my God, may level pala. Di ba? So, yeah, yeah don't sabi ko, oh my God. Grabe yung, grabe, grabe yung, ano, like, it, It's not perfect, no. Pero the good thing about this podcast is yung uh, nalalaman natin not just the positive side of the Korean culture, Korean society, but also the negative side, which you know widens our ano our view, di ba? So yun, no? uh. I think this is the last sign off for the yes. three uh, three of us, no? Powerpuff. The Powerpuff uh, girls of broadcasting. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it has been an amazing 10 episodes with all of you guys, no? Thank you so much, no, sa mga listeners natin. It's been a really really fun journey, no? A tough and fun journey, no, with you know, like, you know, mga nasabi nila yung experiences yun sa paghahanap ng guest sa paggawa ng script and, and contacts no talagang ay yung isa sa mahirap talaga and oh my god debak we've made it this far debak debak so i'll give you guys the stage for your last sign off i don't know if paano niyo i-edit to dun sa <laughs> previous <laughs> sign off niyo I so gave it already, but... yeah Go ahead, yeah. guys. Go, Jazz. <laughs> so, ano yun? This has been Anyong Kwento Mo, Season 1. I'm Jazz, signing off. And I'm Lloyd, signing off. And thank you for listening for the past 10 episodes. Guys. Thank you, Pipoy. And thank you to PS Media. And to our uh, guests. Ben. Yeah. Thank And you so yeah. much. Until next time. Until next time. See you. Annyeong. Bye. Annyeong. See ya. Annyeong. Listen to Anyong Kwento Mo Podcast with Lloyd and Jazz, where we talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Catch us again next time, only here on Pinoy Soul Radio.